All right, so we are just one day away from the official Fortnite Remix finale, and Fortnite actually released both trailers for Chapter 6 already. We've got the cinematic trailer and the gameplay trailer, and I have no doubt in my mind this is because they were leaked early. Now, normally we get these during downtime, so it's to hype us up for the event, but like I said, these were both leaked early, and as a result, they released the high-definition ones. It's amazing. So I already did a video with both of these trailers combined, but I'm going to break them down one by one, frame by frame. We're going to see what we can find for Chapter 6. It should be incredible. So we've got a beautiful, beautiful display right here for the opening scene. It's just some absolutely gorgeous background scenery. It actually reminds me of Chapter 4 in terms of the color scheme and things like that. You can see there's a tractor there, and I'm not sure what those things in the sky are. They almost look like kites, but I'm not 100% sure. You can see some cherry blossom trees in the background as well. And it does say Violin's lyrics in the top. Then we got a nice view of some more of the map. This looks like a snowy biome. You can see a mountain on the top right. A huge bridge of sorts. That looks almost futuristic. And everything looks a little bit mountainous in my opinion. Looks pretty good though. Then we've got the ginormous turtle. So this is supposed to be almost like an environmental moving POI or landmark. So the turtle is alive, it's animated. You can see someone walking on it. And those little white things are called the sprites and they're supposed to be interactive and you can pick them up and they do stuff for you and they interact with the shrines as well. So then we've got a close up of one of the battle pass skins. So she changes in the next frame. So right here you can see she has shoulder guards that are black and yellow and a teal color scheme with the mask on. And then in the next shot here, it's nighttime, so maybe she's reactive to night and day. But you can see there's now a glow and it's teal on her shoulder guards, and everything just looks a little more crisp in the dark. And then we've got the first collab shown here. This is Baymax from Big Hero 6, and he's wearing a samurai suit. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I do not recall that being a suit of armor in the movie. So then we've got the skin that reminded me of Vega from Street Fighter 2, and he does some arm movement, and then he gets a mask on. So I don't know if this is putting the Oni mask on, or if this is just some built-in emote that he has. I'm not 100% sure. But you can see it goes over his face, so I'm leaning towards this is one of the masks that you can pick up and put on. It's got a purple glow to it, a little bit of pink in there, and lots of gold too. Then we've got a close-up of four of the characters here. Hope is in the middle, the cat skin with the robotic hand to the left, the Vega skin on the far left, and then apparently the new Ronin-type hero on the right. Hope also is wielding a awesome katana. Looks like the cat has two tails as well. I just now noticed that. Then we've got a pan out to the four characters and a beautiful background landscape. Again, the snowy mountains. That almost looks like Mega City 2.0. And you can also notice the two sprites. There's a gray one on the left and a blue one on the right. I'm assuming wind and water, maybe? And then we get the title card, and it says Battle Royale Chapter 6 Season 1, Hunters. Then we got some cherry blossom petals flowing across the screen, and we're inside that city. So there's gunfire happening, and we see some parkour-type movements. There's a launch off the top of the building. It's almost like a jump launch, and then... You land with a roll like someone parkouring would do. So it looks like you can avoid fall damage jumping off the top rope by rolling a little bit as you land. And then we see Hope unleash a katana-like weapon and she slashes. And you can see some vehicles as well. And then we've got a close-up of the water sprite jumping around. It looks like a little jelly bean. So this looks like one of the shrines that all the data miners and leakers were talking about. If you bring the sprites to them, they do something special. You can see a big portal there in the middle as well. Hopefully those are like rifts, but we'll find out. And this is one of the battle pass skins running across our screen. And then we can see her wall jump up a wall, which is pretty sweet. So this part kind of got me a little disappointed because it shows her shooting and the bullet trajectory does not look hit scan. That means bullet drop is most likely back. I hate bullet drop. I hate it. And then we see Baymax pulling one of those water sprites off his back, and then he chucks it on the ground, and it looks like it functions like a shield keg. So I don't know if he's in water that he'll heal you with some shield. And then we've got what appears to be Baymax's emote. I don't know if everyone can do this, or if it's a built-in emote with him or not, but it's 100% sinkable, and it's just like in the movie. He even says the quote. So in the movie, when he fist bumps, he goes, ba la 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 And that's what he says right here. That's awesome. So then we've got two of the Battle Pass skins. That's the Vega skin on the right, and then that Ronin skin on the left. They've got some blades, and they're marching towards this shrine with an Oni face on the top. 
And this guy's got some Onis on his belt as well that looks animated and possibly even reactive. So they enter in this shrine. There's some NPCs it looks like you have to fight. And a big old Oni demon thing up on the wall. So these must be the bosses of the chapter. And look at that ferocious demon on the top. He's got hands and a mask. So we've got a lot going on in this action-packed sequence. So definitely you have to fight these for some kind of reward. You can see the kinetic blade right there. Looks like it's been updated a little bit. I actually really enjoyed that if it's exactly how it was in previous seasons. Then he puts that Oni mask on. And meanwhile, the demon is shooting some fireballs and then he teleports with that mask. And then it disappears off his face and he uses the kinetic blade. That's just how I remember it. You can use it for movement or to attack and it looks like he attacks the demon. And then we go to this almost Titan samurai city right here. This looks pretty sweet. We got a little bit of action. Here comes the Ronin character. He puts on a mask as well. A fiery orange and red demon. And then he can shoot fireballs. How crazy is that? You can see he's got one of those sprites clinging to his weapon on the back bling. He launches a fireball, bam, 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 to the face, to the face. Got him. And then he wall bounces off that wall from wall to wall, just like in Super Mario 64, shooting in the process. There's purple fireballs flying down from the top. I don't know what was shooting those. Then it leaves a portal where a guy comes flying out of it. And then Hope comes in with a Texas tornado katana slice. And meanwhile, we've got a ginormous Titan in the background and it's a 4v1 situation right here. So that Titan is huge. I thought the rapper NPCs from Fortnite Remix were big. This guy trumps them all. He's like quadruple the size of our battle pass friends here. And then, like I said, it's a 4v1 situation. We've got all sorts of goodness here. Hope has that new sword. And then the cat has the kinetic blade. It looks like the other two characters are rocking their Oni masks and then they start shooting fireballs. And then we get the key art and it leads right into the title card. Hunters chapter six, season one. Absolutely magnificent. This looks like a season to remember. So let's take a closer look at this image right here. You can see almost like a darker city in the bottom right. You've got a lighter city in the bottom left. You've got the futuristic Mega City in the top left, you got the turtle on the left, you got the cheap cheap fishies on the left as well. There's a new Der Burger, it looks like a futuristic version. In the top right is Godzilla trying to destroy the city with his laser beam there. And on the right is one of those Oni shrines with the Titan in front of it as well. This looks amazing. But that's not where this first trailer ends. We then get a cinematic look at a ginormous Godzilla foot. It almost looks like we're in a movie theater. I see chairs in the foreground and then it looks like we're watching a movie screen. You can also see those sprites in the foreground. That looks pretty good. And then Godzilla is traversing across the screen and then we fade to black for a second and we come back and we're scaling up the back of Godzilla. He's got some pink crystal scales on the back. Looks incredible. We slowly build to the top near his face and he's got that pinkish purple aura all around him. And then we get him towering above the city and he does a roar. I believe that's the Storm King's roar from Save the World though, not the actual Godzilla roar. And then he's looking over the city and he's about to attack. See the Monarch logo there? That looks like on the supply drop. So I don't know if Godzilla is just going to be some kind of ginormous map threat that just appears and starts attacking everyone or if you can do something with him. I'm not 100% sure but he is ginormous. Now, because we've got Godzilla, we might get Kong as well. And obviously the Monarch logo is on that balloon as well. So maybe more monsters other than Godzilla. And of course there's a sports car in the foreground as well. So all that was spectacular. That was the gameplay trailer for chapter six, season one. Now we got to go to the cinematic trailer. Let's take a look at that. So we start in the dead of space. It says reality 783. So a rift opens up and something comes flying out of it. I'm not 100% sure what this is. It kind of looks like part of a UFO that we had in chapter two, season seven. Regardless of what it is, it comes hurtling towards the new map and look at that beautiful scene right there. The map looks absolutely gorgeous. You can see the big bridge we saw in the last trailer. Lots of snow covered mountaintops, lots of beautiful, gorgeous scenery and landscape there. And there's a few PLI cities sprinkled in as well. Looks amazing. And then whatever that object was that came out of the rift, it hits the map and causes a shockwave rift effect. So maybe it was a part of the zero point or something. I don't know, but you can see the ripple effect just spread across the entire map. And then we get a closer image of the shrine getting hit by that purple shockwave as well. And it looks like it activates this portal 
and out steps some of the villains, apparently, from Chapter 6, Season 1. So I'm hoping these portals actually do something, that we can enter them and then we can traverse around the map with them. I'm not sure what they're going to do. But one of the Battle Pass skins emerges. This is an Oni with the horns. And there's three other characters in the background. Not sure what they represent, but they all look creepy. And then we go into the futuristic city. This is like Mega City 2.0. We've got a giant octopus on top of this sushi place. And then I don't know what that is on top of the other building. Kind of looks like a bunny with a helmet on. I don't know. And then we get a little overhead view of the city. And it looks like our heroes are chasing one of the villains throughout the city. She's running fast as fast can be. You can see some of the previous Battle Pass skins and item shop skins getting tossed aside. And then unfortunately for Fishstick, he gets bumped right into this sushi stand. This must be a new... Durburger skin right there. You can see he's got the hamburger face and a sushi knife. And then we go to this little bar type area. We got one of the bird skins on the right drinking a cup of coffee maybe. And on the left is the Samurai Baymax. But unfortunately for this Battle Pass skin, it's a dead end. She turns around and gets ready to accept her fate. But then she smirks and smiles and says, Ha! Not today, big fella. And yeets herself across the top rope. How did she jump so high all the way up and she's parkouring like a boss? all the way to the tippity top of this mega city. And they're like, oh, how did she do that? And then they say, well, what the heck? We could do this as well. Then it shows them parkouring up to the top as well. Now we're on a rooftop and she backflips like a boss all the way. That's a 10 out of 10 backflip right there. And meanwhile, the heroes come shooting down as we're falling and they miss every single shot. So then we see this statue with all the sprites on it. I was wondering if this was the turtle, but I don't think it is. Whatever this thing is, it moves and it's animated and then it freezes for a second. And the villain is just getting chased across the entire landscape. She does the emote, it looks like. I don't think that's actual movement, but I don't know, because she flips a few times and then she slides down the mountain. That looks like some new mechanic right there as well. It almost looks like a different slide than what we have. She flings herself over this boat where none other than Peely and Jonesy are relaxing, enjoying retirement. And then we fly right over them as well and Peely scrambles for his life as we flip. Jonesy goes flying. Peely's like, what the heck is going on here? And then the ginormous turtle, that's the turtle, okay. He arises from the water and Peely says, nope, I'm out of here. See you later. Jones is like, are you kidding me? So that's cool. I love that turtle. And I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be all over the map. We got that rendition of Meowsles taking a selfie of himself. I see a guff skin in the foreground there. Looks like we're running up a temple or one of those shrines. And there's another one of those big purplish pink portals. And that's where she stops. And she's like, ha ha, I led you straight to my trap. And then she spawns the biggest Titan you've ever seen. The Ronin character takes out his katana. Hope pulls out a gun and a pickaxe. And look at this monstrosity. It looks like he's got a UFO face with a bunch of tags on it. And he is just a ginormous specimen. Absolutely terrifying. Look at how he towers over everybody. It's a 2v2 situation. And it's not going to end well for our heroes, I think. She pulls out her katana fan there. And then she charges with the help of the new Titan. Hope pulls out a smart pistol and says, Not today, big fella. I got the auto aim and she misses every single shot. Looks like the katana blocks some bullets. And then the Titan bull charges. Hope still continues to miss every single shot with the lock-on pistol. And then gets katanaed with the fan. A 1v1 melee battle begins. And then the big Titan fights the Ronin over here. This is an outmatched fight for sure. He gets a slash and then another slash. And then we're... Shooting with weapons. You can use a melee weapon and a gun, apparently. It's an all-out brawl with an awesome, ginormous samurai titan. And then we've got the title card. Chapter 6, Season 1, Hunters. Just an all-around epic trailer. Both of these were phenomenal. So I can't wait for this. The map looks great. The characters look great. All these new things look great. It's going to take a while to learn everything about this, but I am excited. The only thing I didn't like is that it appears that Bullet Drop may indeed be back. I think I saw some weapon attachments as well. Lots of new movement mechanics. The sliding looked different. The wall jumping, the wall climbing, the wall bouncing, the rolling, the parkouring. There's a lot of new stuff in this chapter. But it all looks absolutely phenomenal, and I can't wait to play it. And the best part is, if you don't like Chapter 6 Season 1 then Season OG comes out about six days later. 
So you could just play that if you want. And then Reload is still in the mix. There's going to be Ranked for everything. There's going to be so much to do. It's going to be so much content. I don't know how I'm going to survive. This is going to be amazing. So there you go. If you saw anything else noteworthy of the trailer, leave it in the comments so everyone can read it as well. But I am super stoked for all of this. I can't wait. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Please consider putting a supporter creator code in when you purchase the new Chapter 6 Battle Pass and the Season OG Battle Pass. There's going to be two Battle Passes, remember. If you want to help support my daughter as well as my family, this is my code, TaborTime, T-A-B-O-R-T-I-M-E. Tag me on Twitter if you use my code, show me a screenshot, and I'll try to reply to each and every single one. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, a like is always appreciated, and as mentioned, don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.